Good morning, good afternoon, good evening mga kapatids. Welcome to my channel, Your Lola Ganda is on. In today's video is gonna be about climate change to end the world. The climate change to end the world. Ano ang climate change? Ang climate change ay ang makabuluhang pagkakaiba-iba ng karaniwang panahon ng kondisyon ay sobrang init, sobrang tagtuyot o kaya abnormal na tagulan o walang tigil na pagulan. Ano naman ang sanhi ng climate change? It is most of the heat is absorbed by greenhouse gases radiated in all directions warming the earth. Number two, yung pagsunog sa fossil na panggatong sa paggawa ng semento, steel, bakal, electronics, mga plastics, at the meat. Number three, mine processing like gold, nickel, copper, true CIP process that releases gas. Number four, pagputol sa mga puno. Number five, volcano eruptions. Pero bakit kailangan natin matakot sa climate change? Number one, it lowers food productions. Dahil magkakaroon ng sakit ang mga produkto, kaya bababa ang aanihin. Number two, lalala ang baha dahil tataas ang sea level. Number three, kapag tumaas ang global temperature, it could wipe off up to 18% or more GDP or gross domestic products of the world economy. Number four, it increases wildfires. Halimbawa sa Australia, madalas nangyayari ang wildfire sa kanila at maging sa buong mundo. Number five, magbibitak ang lupa kay magkakaroon ng shortage of water supplies. Number six, health impact dahil sa sobrang init. Nasanhi ng heat stroke, cancer disease, increases and mental health issues. Number seven, guguho ang mga bundok or landslide here and there. Number eight, dadami ang mga insekto that damage our products and can even kill people kaya marami ang mamamatay. Number nine, tataas lalo ang presyo ng mga bilihin Dahil ko konti ang ani ng mga farmers. Pagdating ng panahon ay iinit ang mundo. Masusunog ang mga tao, hayop, puno at mga halaman dahil sagad na ang galit ng Diyos. Guguho ang mga bundok, babaha ang buong mundo, and they will curse God instead of repenting. Nakasad ito from the book of Revelation chapter 16 verse 8 to 9. Nakapangingilabot ang salot at nilait nila ang Diyos. Uulan ng malalaking yelo na tumitimbang ng halos 50 kilos according to Revelation chapter 16 verse 21. Australia and Europe are expected to experience more hailstorms as a result of climate change, according to UNSW Sydney researchers. Tao rin ang lumikha sa paghihirap ng kapwa-tao. Tao pa rin ang gumawa kung bakit tayo nagdurusa because of greed. COVID-19, war, and climate change is a total of perfect disaster that ends the world. 
kaya ang sumpa ay daranasin ng daigdig at magdurusa ang nilikha dahil sa kanilang kasamaan. Nakasad ito sa Isaiah chapter 24 verse 6. At sa verse 13, So will it be on the earth and among the nations. Kokonti lang ang matitira sa daranasin ng mundo. Pero paano natin maliligtasan ito? Just believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and you will be saved. From the book of Roma chapter 3. Chapter 10, verse 9. Like and subscribe. Panoorin din ang video na to, followed by our weekly challenge number 5. See you next! Human activities, from pollution to overpopulation, are driving up the Earth's temperature and fundamentally changing the world around us. The main cause is a phenomenon known as the greenhouse effect. Gases in the atmosphere, such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and chlorofluorocarbons, let the sun's light in, but keep some of the heat from escaping, like the glass walls of a greenhouse. The more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, the more heat gets trapped, strengthening the greenhouse effect and increasing the Earth's temperature. Human activities, like the burning of fossil fuels, have increased the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere by more than a third since the Industrial Revolution. The rapid increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere has warmed the planet at an alarming rate. While Earth's climate has fluctuated in the past, atmospheric carbon dioxide hasn't reached today's levels in hundreds of thousands of years. Climate change has consequences for our oceans, our weather, our food sources, and our health. Ice sheets, such as Greenland and Antarctica, are melting. The extra water that was once held in glaciers causes sea levels to rise and spills out of the oceans, flooding coastal regions. Warmer temperatures also make weather more extreme. This means not only more intense major storms, floods, and heavy snowfall, but also longer and more frequent droughts. These changes in weather pose challenges. Growing crops becomes more difficult. The areas where plants and animals can live shift and water supplies are diminished. In addition to creating new agricultural challenges, climate change can directly affect people's physical health. In urban areas, the warmer atmosphere creates an environment that traps and increases the amount of smog. This is because smog contains ozone particles, which increase rapidly at higher temperatures. Exposure to higher levels of smog can cause health problems such as asthma, heart disease, and lung cancer. While the rapid rate of climate change is caused by humans, humans are also the ones who can combat it. If we work to replace fossil fuels with renewable energy sources like solar and wind, which don't produce greenhouse gas emissions, we might still be able to prevent some of the worst effects of climate change. Oh